Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. All I can think about this morning is the amount of sleep that I lose because of commuting. All right. My report time for work is not until 9.35 a.m. in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And I live in Houston. That means I have to hop on a plane to get to work. So I have to wake up at 4 a.m. to go to work at 9.30. Like, it's mind boggling sometimes, but you do what you gotta do, right? I'm tired. <laughs> this is a continuation of the last vlog that I was tied in. But we only got one leg today, so that's a blessing, hallelujah. Y'all, my commute was so easy this morning. On a Saturday at that, like, no issues. Got on the plane, got me a cute little first class seat, and I was knocked out. I left my cardigan or my dress, whatever. I left whatever piece of uniform at home in Houston, Texas that had my wings, my name badge, my black girl magic pen, my Jamaica pen, everything. So I had to go to the office and go get some uh some wings. So I feel a little naked without everything else, but I was really feeling naked without the wings. Anyways, one leg to Springfield. I think I already told y'all that. And that's it for today. It's an easy breezy day. Yeah. Testing, testing. Yeah. Testing. Right. Couldn't hear myself. I forgot I had my AirPods in. Um, it's time to uh, get to Springfield, y'all. I did everything that I needed to do real estate wise while I was sitting there at the gate waiting. Um, you know, to just get on board. So when I get to the hotel, I can go to sleep. I haven't showed y'all in a long time what I've been looking at. Let me show y'all. So we're just checking to make sure our grab and go kit is present. Our PBE is present. Oh, still attached, still attached. That little thing is blue. That means that it's still compact and no air has gotten in. Our um, Halon extinguisher is in green. And our portable oxygen bottle is at um, above 1,500 percent. We go in here and we check to make sure that our EMK kit is present with the seals. First aid kit. This is the, uh, Lord, my brain is just going blankly blank. What's this little thing? The thing that make your heart beat if you're having a heart attack or whatever. You can't breathe or whatever. Make sure that this thing is flashing green. And then our MRT. <sighs> so yeah, I don't think I've showed y'all what the stuff is on a plane in like a really long time. Probably since like my JetBlue days, honestly. Well, maybe I showed y'all like in training. Um, then of course I come to the back of the aircraft, test, test, check this phone as well. Um, there's another MRT tool. Y'all know what that is? So, when the oxygen mask, oh, not when, not when, if, in the event that the oxygen mask drop um, and yours doesn't come down, we would grab the MRT tools and go through the cabin and poke the little hole for them to drop. So that's what that is for. Then we have another Halon extinguisher back here. Extinguish, another Halon extinguisher back here. Sometimes I really talk like I don't know how to talk, y'all. And I promise y'all, I know how to talk. Um, I use correct English. I'm just tongue-tied. <laughs> I know how to use correct English. Um, and then there's another PVE with down here as well. Every time you see a Halon extinguisher, there should be a PVE somewhere very close to it. This is for any of y'all that plan on ever going to fight tennis training. This is a good way to remember this. Fawn taught me this a long time ago. Um, because when you're using the halon extinguisher to fight fires, you have to protect yourself with the PVE. So if there's a halon, there should be PVE somewhere close. And then we have a flashlight. Um, we don't really have to do anything, just make sure that it's there. Okay, there's a few other things down here, but that's just really airline specific and I ain't about to get into all of that. Um, and then we check the lab and make sure the smoke detector thing is working. Um, but yeah, 
I got a tinkle and I'm ready to go. Best thing ever is to land and to get the, all the little notifications buzzing on your phone that <laughs> there's a new president elect. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. This nap that I'm about to take is going to be so amazing, y'all. So amazing. Oh, yes, y'all. <laughs> I had the best nap, okay? It is... What time? It's 8.30. I've been knocked out until about 30 minutes ago. What time do we get here? Like 12.31? I don't know. I have legit been knocked out. Ooh, that felt amazing. Now I'm about to eat. I ordered some Outback. <laughs> I had ordered it earlier and I didn't, because uh, I was starving, and I didn't eat it because I was just so sleepy. Um, so now I'm about to eat and probably go back to sleep. I think our van time is at 7.30 in the morning. So, sitting here watching um, CNN. <sighs> it's just such a good feeling, y'all. Such a good feeling. Anyways, that's it. That's all. I just wanted to check in. Um, tell me good morning. Today is day two of our four day. And I was just looking at um, the schedule. And... I don't go to Dallas today. Usually, you know, I'm on the Embryo. Y'all know that. And it's usually like, go somewhere, go back to Dallas, da, da, da. But I'm actually going somewhere and going to Charlotte. So we're doing turns out of Charlotte today. Well, we have three flights. So we go from Springfield to Charlotte. I think Charlotte back to Springfield and then Springfield back to Charlotte. And then we overnight. And I want to say we do the same thing again tomorrow, but we overnight here in Springfield again, which is <laughs> whatever. And then the next day we have one leg um, back to Dallas and then I'm done. So this is seeming to be like a, just a real simple trip and I'm okay with that. But these flights to Charlotte are kind of long. Like the flight time said two hours and 21 minutes. I can probably shave off about 30 minutes of that is just taxi time so we'll probably still be in the air for a good solid hour and 50 minutes or something my goodness what am i gonna do that long i might do service <laughs> well no i'm lying i'm lying <laughs> anyways y'all let me let me get dressed made it on board y'all the flight is an hour and 45 minutes an hour and 44 minutes so i was six minutes off with my guesstimate um can't take the phone yet playing that on I realized I told y'all something wrong yesterday on the PLB. It's supposed to be 1,200 PSI. I think I said 1,500. I was delirious yesterday, y'all. Anyways, I just thought about that because um, I just checked it up front. I was like, why did I tell them that? Um, just a little clarification for any of y'all that might go to training and uh, be like Alexia said. No, nah, Alexia did not say. <laughs> Alexia corrected herself. Um, anyways, I have 44 minutes and... Yeah, go to Charlotte. This seat. I don't know. 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 Made it to Charlotte, y'all. About to grab something to eat from Starbucks really quick. I lied to y'all early, earlier. We're actually doing a Greensboro turn, and then we overnight here. Tomorrow, I think we do the Springfield turn. But anyways, I forgot. I haven't been to this airport in, I think since I was based in Chicago. So that's well over a year ago. Um, but yeah, hopefully grab this food because I think I have like 20 minutes before boarding starts. Yippee. All right, y'all, grab some Starbucks. The girl blessed me with the, the she gave me some food. That I, that I was attempting to buy. So hallelujah on this good Sunday. It's a 28 minute flight to um, Greensboro from here. I think we're gonna be at like 9,000 feet. <laughs> and then quick turn back and then we head to, oh yeah, quick turn back and that's it. Yes! <laughs> this, is, this is what I got blessed with y'all, my love hummus chicken and hummus 
she only charged me for my green tea lemonade and my popcorn. Yay! Made it to the hotel, y'all. It's 424. It took a little long because it took the shuttle a long time to come. That's the only thing about the bigger airports. It takes a minute for those shuttles to come sometimes. And then the shuttle driver almost killed us. I literally watched him speed up to like cars stopping. I kind of want to report him, but then I'm kind of like, mm, do I really have energy to? But mm, I probably should because what was you doing, sir? Anyways, um, I got a view of a whole bunch of trees. I guess it's 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 kind of pretty. All right, y'all, all the the trees turning into their nice fall colors. Like I like that. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna relax a little bit. Um, maybe go find me some dinner like around six, seven-ish. We have an 8.30 um, report time in the morning or van time. So not too, too early. I'll be up before then. So maybe I'll do a later dinner. I do have some things that I could do right now. So see y'all when I go get some dinner. Guys, y'all. It became dark 30 real quick. I don't know where the time went. I guess time change and it's, and we're an hour. This is an hour ahead of um, Texas time, central time. So, um, dang, an hour ahead. That means that 8.30 report time is really 7.30, which means I'm going to have to set my alarm for 6.30, which means it's really 5.30. So, ooh, yeah, girl. I need to wash my face. Um, I found... Some Italian restaurants on the Instagrams, it was hashtagged. I hashtagged um, CLT foodie. <laughs> and of course, there's like food pages for every city. So I was just scrolling through one of the pages and something looked real good. So it's only like 12 minutes away from here instead of like um, having delivery or whatever. I'm just gonna Uber there, enjoy a nice little meal, maybe sip a little glass of wine and uh, come back and go to bed. Yeah, I've been editing a vlog that I've just been like delaying posting because I'm really not into it. It's, um, what's the vlog? <laughs> Jesus, oh, this is my juicing vlog. I juice, I was juicing like a month or more ago and I just hadn't edited and posted the vlog yet. So I was like, oh, I need to post something. So I might as well use that because heck, I did it, right? Anyways, wash face, food. Bit. Okay, y'all. Um, got to the restaurant. It's called Mama Ricotta's or something, some Italian restaurant. And they have like a um a 40 minute wait. So I'm like, I should have really just ordered it to go and had it Uber Eats. But I wanted to do the whole dine-in experience. So I was just kind of walking around this little shopping center. It's Sunday, so everything's closed. It's 6:40. Nothing else is open. So I guess I'll just be sitting here waiting. Or maybe I should just order it to go. Maybe I should just order it. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know. The food came out in two seconds, y'all. So that replaces the wait time. We got my glass of cab. Um, braised short rib over some gnocchi. It looks so good. Yes, God. Dinner was good, y'all. I'm back. I'm washing my mask. Because they just... They do not do my face justice. Y'all see that? And then this one. Even though I've been wearing just like the plain blue mask under this one to kind of take away from this being directly on my face. One, because I had on makeup and two, just because. I hope y'all are washing your mask if you're using the reusable ones. Because that's, it's like, I think of it as wearing underwear two days in a row. Dirty underwear. Like the same pair. <laughs> The same pair of underwear two, three days in a row. I know some of y'all don't wash y'all butt every day. And you know, that's okay. I mean, I believe everybody in life has probably went a whole day without taking a bath. No shame. But sometimes you just lay in the bed all day and you don't really have a reason to get up and, and wash your butt. Whatever. Wash your mask, people. That's <laughs> that's all I'm out here trying to say. Um, yeah, and I'm about to go to bed. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, good people. It is... 8:19 a.m. I have 11 minutes to be downstairs for van time. Uh, I did so good initially. I went to bed. I went to bed early. I should have. I should have fought that and 
stayed up a little bit longer. I went to bed at like 9.30, I guess around Eastern time, um, which is 8.30 Central. So that was just way too early for me to be going to sleep, for me to like stay asleep throughout the entire night. So of course, of course, I woke up at like 2 a.m. and was up until about almost, I think what, like 5 a.m. And I tried, I tried so hard to like go back to sleep, but that wasn't working. So when my alarm started going off at seven, I was like, oh, this is, this is gonna be tough because I think I wanna tie it all the way down here today. Um, we have a bit of a long day today, y'all. Um, three flights and I think they're all two hours long. So yesterday, oh my bitch. Yesterday was a three leg day also. Like I need my other hand to get that off. Yesterday was a three leg day also. Um, but the first flight was an hour 44 minutes and the second two were like 30 minutes or less. So it didn't make it for a long day. It was like a seven hour duty day yesterday. Today is a 10 hour duty day. So I would have really needed, would have liked to have that rest. Oh my gosh, y'all. I really need some new um, work shoes. Um, but I'm not going to be like rushing to buy any because I only have one more four day trip to work for 2020. Um, and I'm not really trying to spend no money on no work shoes when I'm not going back to work until January. So I got leave for December, the whole month of December. And after this four day, I only have one more in November, the week of Thanksgiving. So I'll just buy some shoes later. Anyways, um, yeah, so let's roll out. Okay, now we can roll out with a clean mask on. When I have on the pants and the shacket. I had this on yesterday too. It's just so comfortable. And my dress, I have my dress with me, but I forgot my Spanx. And I just, I guess I'm just so used to wearing the Spanx over my hosiery now that it feels so weird when I just have on like the dress and my hosiery, my tights without my Spanx. Cause I feel like they're always just like slipping in the, the crotch area. So I'm like, forget that. I'll wear it tomorrow though, because we only have one leg back to Dallas tomorrow. And then home. So it's been a pretty smooth trip so far, y'all. And my hair, I don't even think I've talked to the flight attendant vlog about my sister locks, y'all. I got my sister locks. I have been talking about that forever. Um, the videos on my, it's up. Y'all can go watch it to see all about my new hairstyle. Okay. Hopefully they have some breakfast downstairs. I'm a little hungry. I mean, two hour flight to grow up, I'll have to eat. I mean, mm -mm. yeah, I might have to go do a little mini grocery shopping if they have one of them little shops downstairs. All right, we're on board, y'all. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to make the best of this day in these two hour flights. This one is um, an hour and 54 minutes or hour and 56 minutes to Springfield, Missouri. And we come back to Charlotte and then we go back to Springfield, Missouri. That's my three legs for the day. So, yippee, hippie, hooray, let's go. First flight of the day is done, y'all. We have like an hour sit here in Springfield. I would just went inside and got some food. Oh. And then when we get back to Charlotte, we have like a 50 minute sit. But I'm like, come on, like this day could move so much faster if we could delete these sets. But what do I know? When I come back in January, I'm going to hope, Lord have mercy, I'm nervous. <laughs> I just thought about it because all the people that got awarded the leave, I think from August to, can you see me? There we go. All the people that got awarded the leave, all the flight attendants that got awarded leave, I think it was what, July to December or August to December or something, they'll be coming back in January. And I wonder if I'm gonna still be able to like hold a line or even like stay part-time. Goodness gracious. Yeah. But we'll see, we shall see. 
but what I was saying was I'm gonna start trying to just bid for the 175 because uh, these little 140 145 chips like they're just kind of boring and I don't know if the 175 chips are really any better like I don't really look to see where what plane goes where like I don't look at all the trips and the pairings and I'm not that flat is it but at least the 175 has some Wi-Fi to keep people preoccupied so <sighs> I've been chugging water, which means I keep tinkling going up and down these little aisles. <sighs> Speaking of, let me go tell that gate agent to keep that last row open on the A side. Because it'd be cold on this plane, y'all. Like, you know, it's it's fall, I guess. When does winter start? January, December? So it's still technically fall. But we get up in the air and it's so cold in the front. I think it's most aircrafts, but it's so cold in the front of this 145. So I'll be having to sit in the back by the engine to keep warm, keep my little toes toasty. <sighs> yeah, so let me go make sure that it's um, that seat is unoccupied because I think we have 40 passengers total out of 44. That seat needs not to be sat in. Okay, y'all. One more two-hour flight to go. Well, the last flight was like an hour and a half, and it was full. <laughs> I didn't even have my back seat to keep me warm. Back to Springfield we go. We're supposed to be in the air for an hour and fifty-seven minutes. <sighs> I'm just, we have like a fifty-minute sit, which really equals out to twenty minutes because you know boarding. 30 minutes within that 50 minutes. I didn't feel like getting off the plane. Captain and first officer, they went somewhere. I like my first officer. Her name is Rose. We've been <laughs> silently giggling to each other about the election results because um, our captain, he's, he, he was red. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I can't wait to get to the hotel. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I had Outback there two nights ago that's when I slept all day I ordered out back and it was actually good but I don't want that again nor do I want to pay that kind of money again um I should probably get something I should have got some at the airport Alexia I wasn't even thinking anyways I'll just have to figure out food later and yeah yeah I'm sorry I, I feel like I'm starting to look rough a little chubby face <laughs> made it y'all <laughs> finally done i'm about to order me some chapato uber eats like right now mm -mm, where's the lights and then hopefully they'll be there at the same time that i get to the hotel because i'm hungry look what i got perfect timing like he was right at the front desk as soon as we walked in we have an early van tomorrow 5 a.m so i'm gonna eat my little din din and um call it a night it's only six o'clock i'll probably stay up a few more hours because we don't really need a repeat of yesterday i'm going to bed super early oh this like this just makes me so happy i'm gonna start doing this well no i'm actually well, my next four day it's a lot being food i mean it's thanksgiving i i don't know but regardless if i have to order food i'm gonna start doing it just like that like when I get in the hotel shuttle, Uber eats it to the hotel and hopefully it'll meet me there. Mm. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. I am feeling so slow motion. I think this is too early in the morning, honestly. So, okay. anyways, it's like 4.55, making my way down to the shuttle. Hop on this flight to Dallas, hop on this flight home to Houston. Hallelujah. Let's go. <laughs> oh, nothing's coming out. I got the lovely testing random this morning. I felt that coming. I hadn't been random in a minute. But as long as I got to keep my tea. Do I have my earrings on or do I feel, I feel something. It smells on this airplane. Kind of like wet carpet or something. Wet doggy. I'm trying to see if there's any spray in here. No. 
Some in my bag, just kind of get this scent out the air. Ugh. All right, y'all, all done. No hiccups, smooth last day. Now I am heading to, of course, Terminal B. Catch my flight home. So. Oh, and I'm hungry too, so we need some food. Might give me a hash brown from McDonald's. Naughty. That was the first time I've timed that train ride in Terminal E over here at Terminal B. It was like 15 minutes, y'all. Um, and McDonald's line was wrapped. I should have did mobile order, but I was on the phone and I got distracted. So I'm going to get me my anti eats and hop on this flight. It should be wide open. <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs> Remember, we got one more vlog after this for the remainder of 2020 flight attendant vlog so enjoy this while you can watch it slow <laughs> anyways until next time make sure you subscribe like and share bye